Microsoft Research New England is an interdisciplinary lab which brings together conventional areas of computer science like theory and machine learning with the social sciences, social media, sociology, economics, and the biomedical sciences. In New England, in particular in Cambridge and Boston, there is a large concentration of research in this area. The best economics research in the US is probably done at MIT and Harvard. So we felt that Microsoft really shouldn't open a research lab in this area to profit from the possible interactions with this vibrant local community. My area of research is artificial intelligence and machine learning, and the boundaries of my research are being pushed because of the collaborative environment and the excitement of having so many different people around at different stages in their career. What Microsoft Research is able to do is it, it's able to connect people from different disciplines and different universities together. We invite a range of scholars from around the US and around the world to come and work with us. So by doing that, we've developed this incredibly strong community of thinkers. So for me, what that tends to do is it augments and deepens my work because I have this benefit of a range of perspectives that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I think one of the things that's really exciting for me when I come to the lab is the ability to sit down for an entire day with another visitor who may be visiting from the University of California at Berkeley or who may be visiting from Northwestern. But we have eight hours to do that. And if it weren't for the lab, we'd be sort of bumping into each other at a conference and we may only have a minute or two to say hello and exchange ideas. The thing that motivates any successful researcher is that the work is very interesting. What the exact content of it is can, can change a great deal from year to year. Uh, this is a place where there's a lot of freedom, a lot of different kinds of very smart people to interact with, an opportunity perhaps to do something different from what you'd be doing normally back on your own home turf. And I think most of the people who come and visit take advantage of these opportunities and, and look back on it in, very enthusiastically. We have a tremendous diverse lab. We have about 40 to 45 percent women in the lab and one of the things I find really exciting is that here is a research environment where women really thrive and do wonderful research. We have the most phenomenal young people coming through this lab and they come in having been trained in one discipline but leaving the lab with broad knowledge of other disciplines ready to take up leadership positions in these new fields that are forming on the boundaries of data science and the social sciences and the biomedical sciences. There are very few places left where you can do long-term big research projects and uh, Microsoft is a shining star in that regard. It, it provides us the freedom and the infrastructure to really uh, try for a home run and um, that's what we're hoping for, and that's what we're working hard toward. Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available.